Hey there, McAllister with Toasty DIY, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, booster box of the Pillars of Strength OP03 English versions for One Piece. So these run about 95 bucks for a whole thing if you get it chipped and everything, and they are what I'm going to be opening today. I'm kind of new to One Piece card game. I've played a little bit, but I actually just really been enjoying the collecting portion. So I did try to do an opening of the Paramount War arc, the OP02 set. And I did unbox some cool things, I'm pretty happy with that. And now I figured I'd just go through and open these up under camera and I will let you all know the highlights. So, let's get started. The leader Nami, awesome. Oh, Bellamir and Khalifa. Oh, well, there's the start of that CP9 deck we were talking about. Oh, another leader, I like that. Nami and Flame Emperor, not a bad pull. Khalifa Ace, we like that. I actually have a wrapped Ace already so I can put him in normal. Buzz Cut Mochi. And Fire Fist. Well, if I want to start working on an ace deck, I'm starting to look not too bad. Iceberg is the leader. I didn't even know he was one. Kaya, so sweet. And Gum Gum Jet Gowan. Drosen and Marshall D. Teach. Tempest Kicker, Bluno, and a 10 drop Charlotte Linlin. I don't know if this is super rare, but this is probably a high tier card. Uh, I'd have to check, but it feels like it, most 10 drops tend to be pretty rare, so that was a good one to pull. Kaku, Buzzcut Mochi, and Usopp. I do, I'm always glad to have the actual straw hats. They're fun to just collect in general. Another Ace, another Blue Nell, and Fire Fist. Rob Lucci, nice, didn't have him yet. Zeph, looking pretty cool, I like that. And that is a pretty good Sanji card. I know that one's pretty, pretty well used in some yellow decks. I think especially Big Moms. Charlotte Pudding, pretty good for yellow decks. Charlotte Pudding, and oh, a very cool looking Polly. I don't know if that's an alternate art, but I really do like that art in general. I'll have to check to see on that one, but I'll set that off the side. Oh, Paris Sparrow. Ooh, Katakuri, we did want to pull that for a friend of mine. And then Jin and Zeph, a nice little duo there. Virgo, Adio, Izo, and Polly. Oh, because also I did get a Polly alternate art if I got anything. Six Finger Pistol and Bellamere. I'm gonna have a nice setup for like a Nami deck. I do like that we got Coco, or not Coco, Chimney. Come Gum Jet Gatlin, and then Charlotte Katakuri. That is a pretty awesome looking card. Glad we pulled that. I'm hoping it's worth something because I still need to get some Borsalinos from my black deck, and Charlotte's a pretty cool card to have. All right, well, good pull with that Katakuri. Let's see if we can't keep that momentum. I feel like this deck's been back end heavy. Lulu, another Katakuri leader, Bellamere, and Deathly Poison Gas. <laughs> Rob Lucci hanging out in sweats. And good. Oh, I love when we get extra Dawn. I think there's one per pack. That's awesome. Monkey D. Luffy and Khalifa. Mars D. Teach and Marco. Three thousand worlds and another Sanji, Spandam, and here we go to our finals. Isho, awesome, and Navy drop. So let's total out what we got here. So we're gonna start by just placing our deck here, and then I'm gonna go through and look up those prices so that we can find out if we got anything that is, you know, valuable, or if we just got some fun cards to play with. All right, so we're gonna go through and just kind of check these prices. So Isho is I'm only gonna count them for over a dollar. Isho is a dollar twenty-one. He is only 62 cents, so we'll put him to the left. I'll just put him with a bunch of other ones. That's a $3 card, so he will get sleeved. But this card is $10, so we will put that in the to be sleeved pile. I did not put the respect on this card that it needs. This is the most expensive card I've unboxed. That's pretty awesome. So that is $51 card. We'll put him in the sleeve. Actually, you know what? We're going to do ourselves a favor and sleeve him, what we call immediately. Polly, that is $1.94 for him. She's a $3 card, so she'll get sleeved. He is worth $16. We'll give him a sleeve. He's worth 10 cents. He is worth 11 cents. He's worth 20 cents. This one is the 20 cents version. This is 86 cents. However, I always sleeve the Dawn because I like having them. 7 cents for Deathly Poison. This is 7 cents. Bellamere is 16 cents. Jet Gatling is 25 cents. Drusen is 50 cents. Yeah, makes sense. This is 25 cents. Six King Pistol. 21 cents. 28 cents. Look at that. Gin. He is eight cents. And then we have 16 pistol again. 
Oh, what do you know? He's four dollars. So we'll just go ahead and put him aside. Forty-four cents. Eleven cents. Blue nose, twenty-one cents. For fifty cents. Buzz cut mochi is fifteen cents. Kaya, she's almost a dollar. 16 cents on Spandam. So we're gonna go ahead and do a final wrap up of these cards. For leaders, we got Nami, we got Rob Lucci, we got Charlotte Lin, Lin we got Iceberg, and lastly, we got Charlotte Katakuri. Speaking of Katakuri, our most expensive card we opened in this deck was Charlotte Katakuri himself for about $51. Our other most expensive cards come down to 3,000 worlds at this price right here. We have Marco at this price right here. Charlotte Lin, Lin at this price right here. Polly this price right here, and Charlotte Perspero at this price right here. That being said, honorable mentions to these ones that were over a dollar, but just not quite enough. We have Isho, a normal Art Polly, and then a special Dawn for Sanji Lee and the Baratier. This box here cost $95, and if we theoretically sold all the prices for their current value, we would have made or lost this amount of money here. I haven't done the math yet, so this should show you. Otherwise, I'm happy with the pulls we got. The only thing I'm upset about is I didn't pull many secret rares of the black cards, but I think there are not many in this deck. I think I'm going to have to trade for those. But thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm going to come back on here and do some more unboxings. I have a Kingdom of Intrigue set coming in soon, and I'm going to do an unboxing of those, but I'm going to go ahead and end with sleeving up these cards.